quality of education at our university is a priority for the university and uh, that is why LCIT is applying uh, for um, this uh, second uh, time for uh, accreditation at um, the Agency for Quality Assurance and Accreditation in Austria. We have a wide range of uh, different uh, master's programs. Uh, the first one is Business and uh, Administrative Information Technologies and uh, Communities. We have um, nearly 10 uh, PhD programs we have registered. Uh, they are Organization and Management of Information Processes, uh, Book Science, Librarianship and uh, Bibliography, cultural and historical heritage in the modern information uh, environment, leadership, business administrative, social communications and technologies, science studies, information theory and knowledge management, information systems and technologies, informatics and computer science, and also national security. So you see that uh, we have um, the line with the master's programs so if you graduate master program you uh, can continue it in your phd it's a very good uh, example for this international uh, cooperation that only bit i was able to spend out the phd to a german student who is sitting in miranmar working there as a chinese uh, for a chinese company we are always open uh, for our students we are uh, always ready to meet them also in distance not only in front of the screen of the computer and this shows that in fact uh, we will save the tradition to be near our students in every time in every situation and our university will be a society closely to 70 phd students that came from austria from germany from malaysia we have uh... Uh, a person from Turkey as well who has a German uh, nationality uh, and uh, 35 of them uh, I must uh, confirm have successfully defended uh, uh, their PhD thesis and uh, currently another 33 people are um, under educational process the motivation the ambition of uh, the phd students that are coming from austria uh, um, i'm quite impressed uh, also the topics that the phd students are uh, developing and that are presenting uh, for enrollment and further uh, developing in fully fledged dissertations are related uh, um, to not only to theoretical topics but to uh, scientifically applied tasks uh, uh, and uh, given the fact that people are coming from practice uh, uh, they have both uh, the scientific and uh, the scientific uh, applied uh, uh, contributions uh, uh, and the ideas for these contributions. My impression of the enrolled PhD students uh, is that there are quite serious people who are working and they are putting their efforts into into something uh, that they uh, have already developed in, in, in their career that they have already realized, have experienced it, and they have the ideas to basically um, give something more to improve the environment. We do have uh, an example of excellent PhD students here and uh, of uh, greatly developed, uh, developed dissertation thesis. Mostly the topics are oriented to um, presenting new models and tendencies uh, uh, in uh, SMEs, in small and medium-sized uh, uh, business uh, enterprises, uh, uh, digitalization, uh, presenting uh, the new models uh, which are already uh, implemented in the globalized world uh, into the practice in their uh, field of expertise and area that they work in. Uh, I think that we have heard a lot of uh, very interesting fields of research of our students and uh, a lot of good arguments for this PhD program and why it is so successful. Uh, we heard about the spirit of the university, the high quality of the programs, the proximity to the students. And this is what I really um, can say that uh, students like this uh, form of supporting of, of help. Um, for many new students, 
they uh, heard of this good quality, they are a little bit interested in the image of the university and we heard about the high score of the programs and so on. And then some students ask, is there a network of this university in which corporations this university works? The university has uh, different partnerships and different partnerships agreement for teaching, internships, uh, joint research, uh, uh, different uh, um, international um, projects applied and theoretical projects with a, a number of uh, companies first uh, and foremost let's let's start with the business uh, uh, such as uh, IBM Oracle Microsoft uh, uh, Padata Microtik uh, uh, SAP sub so-called sub uh, labs uh, the university is working with the state government agency uh, with uh, Electro-robotics, telecommunications, techno LCD, and uh, so on. We have been uh, partners in uh, uh, more than eight Rasmus Plus projects: uh, High Five, Smart, uh, uh, Red Cyber CG, uh, uh, Arrange, uh, License Masters, uh, Professionals for uh, for Development of Administration. Uh, PICTED, FETCH, uh, Future Education and Training in Computing, uh, uh, also for School on Cloud, uh, Connecting Education to the Cloud for Digital Citizenship, uh, etc. We have uh, Associated Academics Partners, uh, uh, Institute of uh, Statistics and Math Mathematical Methods and Economics from uh, Vienna, Austria, and uh, uh, also the Falkhofer Institute of Industrial Mathematics. This amazing video that was created uh, by the university, we're definitely going to uh, put a link uh, for it uh, below the interview that we're doing now. Uh, we got it from Professor Garvanov in English uh, language, so with English subtitles. The video is really uh, very nice, very interesting, and at least to me uh, it gave information about Unibit that I didn't no, um, that was very interesting. I would like to ask you what inspired you to uh, record this movie. Uh, it has a very interesting title, 70 Uni Bits of Knowledge. Uh, this video was um, dedicated uh, mainly to our 70 year uh, anniversary uh, of the university. We have tried to show uh, the university uh, through the eyes of uh, Rector of the rector, uh, of the present rector, of the ex rector, uh, the, through the eyes of the students and uh, different personalities uh, at uh, our university, uh, like honorary guests, uh, Dr. Honoris Causa, and uh, different uh, famous uh, persons for our university. We have tried to show all uh, the technological uh, achievements we have. Um, at our university uh, we have tried to show uh, the two campuses this uh, film in fact is uh, the life of the university in the last hour 10 years we hope that uh, we have achieved our idea my uh, biggest pleasure was to see with uh, with what love the students are talking about the, the university and i think this should make you also very grateful and very proud of your work because this love that they were uh, talking with about the university, about the programs, um, even especially I've seen in this part where they uh, preserve the books, where they take care about preserving the books and how important is this for them and to hear it in nowadays, this is very, very important to their young people that they really love to preserve books and they really love to, to keep the heritage and that's really amazing the most important which uh, we could say uh, to our uh, present and future students is uh, that we uh, don't have to um, forget to make the relation between past and future it's very important for us and uh, how uh, you mentioned uh, now uh, our students like to preserve books, so uh, this is uh, really the, the main idea, 
how to uh, make the relation between past and future uh, among our students and the specialties at our university. As you know, we have two faculties, the Faculty of Library Studies and uh, Cultural Heritage, and the second faculty is uh, the Faculty of Information Science. So I think that uh, we have uh, made this bridge between the past and future. I only want to say that uh, it is really good uh, to build such bridges between the past and the future. And I see on our students that they are, uh, there is a big range because we have students with uh, 25 years. And I think you remember we have some students, uh, they are 70 years old. So uh, this is very interesting in this PhD program that there is a, a big field of a very interesting research. and, and uh, the individuals of the students are so different. We have we have a German guy with a with a diploma from Finland, and he is studying on your university. We have people from different countries, as you you told us before, and and so I think that your university is building really bridges, the bridges between old and young, bridges between uh, past and future, bridges between countries, and bridges between our international students, and this is why I am so really happy to have this cooperation. In the last year we saw that um, defenses and interviews are happening online uh, via different platforms. Um, still, I personally and uh, as I know of many PhD students would like to, um, to come to Bulgaria to, um, to have a defense uh, not online but uh, face to face uh, this is something that we missed in the last year and i really hope that one day hopefully soon we will be able to do this again one of the main mission is the development and establish of the university of library studies and information technologies as unique educational and scientific institution that motivates teacher to continue in the field of cybersecurity, blockchain, uh, business modeling and application of the uh, latest um, information and communication technologies, active participation in the national scientific, educational and cultural projects and uh, programs. Uh, since the doctor students that are coming to our university with your assistance are, are quite well prepared and uh, the work process with them, uh, with the education, uh, the, the actual pre-defense and defense of the dissertations is going quite smoothly, no rifts there. So uh, I would like to wish us all good health and uh, really successful uh, current and future work and let us continue for many, many years.